Good morning, everyone. My name is Abhishek Pandey. I'm uh, Assistant Professor of Finance in International School of Management. So uh, the topic which we are going to discuss today is one of the important topics of international finance that is there in your curriculum. So uh, primarily, we, we are going to talk about bid and ask spread. This is a very important topic. But before that, we need to understand uh, something about uh, exchange rates. Okay. So exchange rate, uh, most of the things have already been covered in the class. But uh, since uh, we are going to study the important concept of bid and ask, let me uh, repeat the concepts once again about the exchange rates. OK, so the exchange rates are you already know that uh, whenever you trade in the currencies, so the currencies, they trade in pairs, right? So one currency has a certain value in relation to the other currencies. OK. So there is a standard pattern uh, by which the currencies are uh, notified, okay? And those who are in the business of uh, currencies, they uh, quote that uh, particular thing in a certain pattern. So that pattern will uh, look like this, okay? So uh, this particular thing which you are seeing on the screen right now, it is uh, like 1.4000 USD per euro. Okay, USD is the currency of uh, United States of America, that is United States dollars. And Euro is the currency of European Union. Okay, so this particular quotation says that uh, for one Euro, one Euro is equal to your 1.4000 USD. Okay, so can we write this in this particular fashion? Okay, this, this is similar thing. Just uh, we have simplified this in the form of an equation that we have segregated something in the numerator and we have brought something in the denominator. But the uh, meaning remains same, right? In one euro, you can get 1.4000 USD. Okay. Now, what is there in the numerator that you need to understand? The currency which is found in the numerator will be known as your price currency and the <coughs> sorry, <coughs> the currency which you see in the denominator will be known as your base currency. OK. Now, this is the definition of the direct quote. So the direct quote can be understand can be understood as when the price currency is domestic currency, right? That means the currency which is in which is there in the numerator, if that happens to be your domestic currency, then then that particular quotation will be called as your direct quote. Okay. And if the situation gets reversed, means when the base currency is domestic currency, base currency means what? The currency which is in denominator. Okay, then it will be known as your indirect quote. Okay. So suppose you are in India, okay, and if it happens that the Indian currency is in numerator, then you will say that particular quotation is in direct quote. Okay. And suppose that Indian rupees in R is there in the uh, denominator, then particular quotation will be known as your indirect quote. Okay. So I hope this concept is clear, like what is direct quote and what is indirect quote. Most of the students get confused that what is direct quote and indirect quote, they start beating around the bush. But through this example, I hope this will be very clear to you. Okay. Now further, for a US investor, just take this as an as an example, the above quote is direct quote, because the price currency is USD, that is the domestic currency. Okay. Now moving on uh, towards our main uh, subject today, which is the basic understanding of bid and ask spread. Okay. So before uh, we move on to this bid and ask spread. Let me give the background. Okay. So uh, before starting uh, this lecture, so I had uh, given you a certain example like those who are in this particular business of uh, currency market, they uh, quote their uh, particular currency pair in certain fashion. So this will be a kind of uh, pattern which you will normally see. Uh, once you go for uh, buying any kind of currency. Okay, so basically banks and the dealers, those who are in this trade, they quote uh, the currency in this particular fashion. So they, they can quote this like one USD is equal to INR, 
82.5000 oblique 83.000 see very carefully there are two uh, numerics that you see uh, in exchange for usd okay so this is what we have to understand why this particular uh, uh, fashion is um, adopted by the banks and dealers uh, when they deal with uh, currency market okay so first understand what do you mean by uh, bid so bid can be understood as your purchase or simply buy okay and what is ask ask is your offer and then oblique sell so bid means purchasing and ask means selling time being try to understand this particular thing now bid is what bid price is the value point at which a buyer is ready to buy okay we'll try to understand this with an example very soon but for time being just uh, try to understand the definitions of what is bid and what is ask okay and the ask price is the opposite of bid ask price is the value point at which the seller is ready to sell okay to for a trade to happen uh, it is mandated that both buyers and seller has to come on a certain platform and they both have to agree on a particular price so that they will exchange that price and goods with each other and then trade will happen so this particular concept is has to be very very clear in your mind that what this bid and what this ask is so we'll try to understand this with an example suppose uh, uh, you are willing to buy the oranges right for your family and you go you go to the market okay and you see a very good quality of orange over there okay so uh, now you have certain plan in your mind that what should be the fair price of that particular orange that you are willing to give to the seller right so that will be understood as the bid price you bid for that particular orange you quote your price to the seller okay suppose you quoted rupees 40 per kg okay so this is your your bid price the price offered by the buyer okay so now it will be clear that what is bid price the so price offered by the buyer to the seller is the bid price but it is not necessary that the seller will be ready to sell you that particular quality of oranges on the same rupees 40 per kg okay it might happen that seller is willing to sell you at rupees 50 per kg okay and this normally happens whenever you go to the market this normally happens okay so there will be a kind of uh, bargaining that will start between the uh, orange seller and you to arrive at a price which can be accepted by both the parties and then the trade will execute but for time being try to understand what is ask ask is the price at which seller is willing to sell okay and bid is the price at which buyer is willing to buy okay so these are the value points okay now there is an important concepts which is known as the spread spread means what spread is normally means the gap between ask price and bid price okay here for example the bid price was 40 rupees per kg and the ask price was rupees 50 per kg so the spread would be what spread will be normally ask price minus bid price that is your 50 minus 40 that is your 10 rupees okay now take another example uh, somewhat uh, funny in nature but to understand this concept we will have to adopt this means that since you already know that the seller is selling this particular orange at rupees 50 50 per kg okay so can can't this happen that you also offer him that since you are selling at uh, rupees 50 per kg this orange is i have the same quality of orange you tell to you tell to to that seller that i have the same quality of orange and uh, buy from me at rupees 50 only since you are selling at rupees 50 i also have that particular orange you also buy from me at rupees 50 per kg will that seller be uh, ready to buy from you at rupees 50 per kg of course not because he is into a business right so he is there to make profit he is selling oranges to make profit so that means he has bought that oranges from somewhere at lesser than rupees 50 and that is why he is selling into rupees 50 right so this is what i just discussed with you that will the seller buy from you the same 
quality orange at rupees 50 per kg answer is no okay so now to be on the funny side now seller will get confused that now i am here to sell the oranges now people are selling to me only at rupees 50 per kg so to avoid that situation what seller will do to avoid that situation seller will uh, broadcast a kind of advertisement outside his, his uh, shop that now this is the price 1 kg orange is rupees 45 45 oblique 50 so again two prices he is quoting what does this mean this means that if someone is willing to sell the oranges to me sell the oranges to me he will have to sell that oranges at rupees 45 that means seller will buy at rupees 45 and if someone wants to buy from me then he will have to buy from me at rupees 50 because that he is into that particular business right he is there to make profit he is putting an effort right so this is the kind of pattern which he will broadcast outside his shop and this is the pattern which is followed by most of the bankers and the dealers which deals in currency market i hope you understood the concept of why the bank and dealers they quote two prices okay so the first price is your bid price and the second price is known as your ask price so the, i gave you sufficient background that why this happened actually why they started quoting two prices because they are into that business to make profit right so a spread is again is what ask price minus bid price and this is your five rupees for example similarly if a bank and a dealer if they are quoting the price like one usd is equal to inr 82.5 zero 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 oblique eighty three point zero 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 so what is the bid price here so bid price is the bank will buy one usd for inr eighty two point five zero 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 and if someone is willing to buy one usd from the bank okay so that ask price will be bank will sell one usd to him at rupees eighty three point zero 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 okay i hope you are now clear with what is bid price and what is ask price ask price is always more than the bid price this is very important always remember okay now there are certain uh, formulas which are used in this uh, bid and ask spread first formula is your what is the spread so spread is nothing but ask price minus bid price so numericals will come on this okay the second formula is your mid rate so mid rate, mid rate is nothing but your ask price plus bid price divided by two that is the average price okay so uh, in this situation uh, so what would be the mid rate mid rate will be this plus this divided by two and that will be your 82.7500 similarly the other formula is your spread percentage and the formula is your spread divided by ask price multiplied by 100 so what is your spread spread is nothing but your ask price minus bid price okay into 100 so in this particular uh, question your uh, spread percentage will be 0 0.6024 i hope you understood the concept and uh, with this uh, i complete this lecture if you have any doubt you can uh, let me know through your comments and you can connect with me anytime thank you so much